Good morning, everybody. It's us. We're back. We are on the last day of our vacation. We're heading back home, but we decided to make one last stop. Lake Township Park, uh, Sandridge Disc Golf Course. Uh, I actually met a guy a few days ago. His name was Adam, and he had recommended it. And it's actually just right on the way home. So we're here. It's a park course, city park, 18 holes. Looks like it's going to be fun, relatively short. There's a couple holes. I think 18 is like 500 feet or something. So. We're gonna get right into it. Enjoy the show. Cheers. So this is our seventh course in three, four days. We played two courses per day. We're playing this one this morning before we head back home. So it's been a lovely, lovely trip. Uh, this course actually has some woods holes. We're on hole two here. We didn't expect that. That's cool. Looks like we're gonna have a good time. <laughs> I mean, after six pro level courses, it looks like Alyssa's finally dialed in. <laughs> Ripping it. Maybe she'll catch an ace today. I believe there's one hole that's like 87 feet here. I'm assuming it's gonna be a very tight line, but maybe she can ace that one. What do you think? So, Alyssa, would you say that's your most improved shot this, for sure. this year? My forehand? Yeah, for sure. Well, that big, floaty Annie forehand. Yeah, for sure. I mean, dude, you just saw it. She's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. So, out of all the courses that we went to, there was a very common thread, which was excellent signage, great tee pads, great directions. Um, so, just wanted to point that out. Good job, Michigan Disc Golf. Love these little arrows on the basket telling you where you go next. Makes it very easy. Great signage is very important. So, that is all. Carry on. This looks like a fun shot. 140 feet, part three, with the basket situated on a hill. So. Do you run it? Do you lay up? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Okay, so I threw up a Greg Barsby style putt and uh, saved that three. That was a fun hole. So it looks like we're coming out of the woods now. This is nine, and then we'll probably get on some open holes. So we'll check that out. What do you think so far? It's cool. It's uh, mostly short. I think the longest we've played is 250, maybe. Although uh, hole one was like 272, something like that. 372, maybe? I don't remember. Something like that. Yeah, short but technical, and these woods shots are tight. It just seems like a common theme here. Michigan is gonna get some tight, short, wooded holes in there. Super fun to play. All right, let's keep going. I know Alyssa just said that it was all short, but of course we're here on hole 10 and 475 feet, par three with a Mando. 
all the way out and down the hill. So time for some bombers. I'm gonna throw my I'm gonna throw my putter. the first time since we've been out here in Michigan that we're having a water hole hole 11 215 probably about 150 to cover across the pond up on a hill this is gonna be exciting what do you think lover No chains. <laughs> All right, man, we're walking up on hole 18. We have to cross the soccer fields here. Just a couple thoughts on the course. Uh, the wooded course was the wooded portion of the course was really cool. Uh, you could tell it's in the like, lower lying part of the park. And so to combat the flooding, they actually put in a drainage system and you had these little drains everywhere that probably flushes out to a nearby river or something. So that's pretty cool. Um, well designed, well marked up, immaculate as always, super clean course. Alyssa played great today. I've been playing pretty good, I think. We've got one more to go and then on the road again. I just can't wait to get <laughs> Sand Ridge, aka Lake Township Park. Super fun. Thanks, Adam, for recommending it. It was uh, a good time. Perfect little course to play on the way home. Uh, again, can't say enough good things about Michigan golf. We had a great time. Uh, let's see, I shot a plus 257. Alyssa shot a plus 1065. Three rounds in a row she shot in the mid 60s. So good for her. She's going to learn how to do that in the tournament. <laughs> anyway, we had a good time. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe, check out our sponsors, Stupid Tree Disc Golf, Wicked Aces Disc Golf, and Power Disc Golf, Ladies First Disc Golf. Not all of those are our sponsors, but those are our people that we love to support, and we want you to support them as well. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.